What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you guys are doing well out there. I'm excited to bring you a little solo technique lesson. I haven't done one of these lessons in quite a while, and I know there was a, uh, a lot of requests for something like this again. So I'm going to break down a little concept to get you just playing around outside of the pentatonic a little bit. So I think you'll enjoy it. Um, also, my website, guitarjams.com, has all these organized lessons from theory to solo techniques to licks, you know, everything. And actually a new thing where you can try the site out for free for two weeks. And there's a link for it right down there. And I really appreciate that kind of support. I really, really do. Uh, but let's zoom in right now and work on some solo techniques. Here we go. All right, so I'm just gonna talk about some concepts here to get you out of your basic pentatonic scale rut. There's so many different theoretical ways to look at what I am about to show you. One way is kind of the mixing of the major pentatonic with the minor pentatonic. It's kind of that concept, or it's also a concept of like the minor pentatonic scale with the major six in there and the major second in there sometimes, if that makes any sense. If it doesn't make sense, you should seek that knowledge out, but you can do it without under, you know, understanding it 100%. They're just new sounds to add outside of the pentatonic thing. So the jam track I was playing in the beginning, I was playing G minor 7 to C9, which you could kind of say, oh, that's kind of like a G blues. So in a setting like that, uh, I want to focus right now on that A-rooted minor pentatonic scale. So if we've got a G thing going, a G bluesy or a G minor, it's kind of bluesy, funky kind of thing. Then we want to, you know, just look at this little spot for this video today. The minor pentatonic scale for G with the root on the A string is right here. That's the 10th fret on, on the A string, which is a G note, the root of the key. And so the pentatonic with then middle finger here on the 11th of the B, and then 13 on the B, then 10, 13 on the high E. And then you also have the 10 and 13 on the low E. But that's the root. You also have this little extension thing. And I've got lessons on all this stuff in a row at the site. But the, you got this little extension. Which gets you to the E rooted minor pentatonic. adding the blues note there, which is the 11th on the D. And this beautiful box below it. Blues note right there as well on the 9th of the low E. 8, 9, 10. Could go index right there, index ring, slide up. So that's all the minor pentatonic right there. I added a little blues note. It's also right here. Like I said, there, I break that down really slow on the site. Okay, but so that's your basic minor pentatonic stuff. What, uh, a really cool spot that I wanted to show you is right here, just a little box above. So if you're right here on the 10 to the 12 of the D and the 10 to the 12 on the G,
that root right there. Well, you have this little box right above it, which would be 12 and 13 on the D, which that's the major six right there. Then the root still, which is the 12 of the G. And then for this instance, we're gonna do the whole step, but then we're gonna bend it to that minor third sound. Which is just a half step bend. Almost a little bit before that note. So all of a sudden you get a little bit of that sweet BB King sound in there. It's not really major. Okay, so let me get this loop going. So first I'll just show you a little blues thing here, you know, between the 10 and the 12 on the G and the D. Now I'm going to slide from that 12 up a whole step. So that's the 14th of the D. Then the root with my index, which is the 12 of the G. Then that whole step up with a little nudge. down to the blues. So then I just added my pinky, which kind of, it comes from the G major pentatonic, also the E minor pentatonic. But I'm kind of avoiding the super major E notes. So this one's gonna work, because it's also part of the minor pentatonic scale. And this one's gonna work. So you have a little box right here. With the root right there. Blues note right here. Now the little sweet little box right here. Just straight minor pentatonic. Blues scale, now the little sweet thing. Okay, now instead of bending up to it, you could just play it with your pinky. So that would be the 15th fret of the G, but 12, 14 on the D. 12, 15 on the G now. And you can nudge that note. You can do either one. Back to standard pentatonic. sliding, you know, the extension. New little sweet box. So that was just to see what frets. That's another cool thing. 13, 15 on the B. Then a switch back to the 14 of the G with a bend to the root. So watch this again. Okay, 
so check this out now. One last thing, and I know it's a lot, but whatever you can just add to your normal stuff, then that's good. The other thing is that same sweet note can be added right here. The major six is what I was calling it. It's the 12th fret of the high E instead of the 13th. So the 13th is part of that minor pentatonic. Or... What we're going to do, though, exchange the 13 for the 12 on the high E. I like to go from 12, 10 to 11 of the B. Most people have more licks in that first pentatonic they learn, which is right up here. So it's a good thing to work out some new ideas and some new real estate on the neck. And then when you kind of used it up, you can work your way into your standard power zone, rock star position. Yeah, you know, all, all your stuff. So let me try to do some of that. that gave you a little new idea or inspiration. Uh, remember, I really appreciate that support over to my website, guitarjams.com, in that link down there. I really appreciate it. Uh, but hopefully, I'll see you there, and I'll see you in another YouTube lesson again very shortly. Take care, and see you later.